Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. I wasn't sure I was going to shoot this video, but then I decided to start filming it, so I kind of didn't really get the beginning beginning, but that's okay. You'll get the gist of it in the screencast coming up. She was uh, noticing a little rust between the grout line, between the bowl and the tile floor on the right side. So I went over there and I said, let me pop the uh, plaster covers off the flange bolts and then just, you know, flush the bowl. And as I flush the bowl on the right side, water was actually coming out of the right side flange bolt. And you really couldn't see it with the cap on there. So I told her ultimately the bowl's gonna have to be pulled. I gotta see what's going on. She agreed to it. And that's what the video's about. Uh, it's basically a toilet reset. It's not a big deal, but uh, I did a little screencast about it. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. And listen, for all you newbies out there, if this is your first time, Please hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. To everyone else, check it out. Enjoy the video. Uh, leave your comments down below. I know I'm going to get blasted for uh, putting caulking around the base of the bowl, but I always caulk my bowls in. That's just the way I fly, guys. A lot of differing opinions as to whether I'm going to trap water under there or if there's a leak. But uh, honestly, if the bowl's set correctly, there shouldn't be any water under there. Tell me what you think. Check out the video. So as I mentioned, when I removed the, uh, the cap on the right side and actually pulled up the uh, little piece that holds the cap on, I flushed the bowl and water just came up and out of that hole. So, and it was working its way out between the bowl and the tile. So at that point I says, we gotta lift this bowl up. And as you can see here, uh, you can see the water there on the right side. So when this bowl was being flushed, now these guys shoved all this plaster in there. And the only thing I can think of is that they put that in there because they knew the bolt wasn't going to really hold. And if you look at the bolt, it's all rusted. It, it actually looks like an iron bolt as compared to the bolt on the left side. It looks like a brass bolt. But I had to cut that out with a multi-tool. And that wax gasket was just about flush with the top. I don't think that wax gasket was doing anything, honestly. It was leaking out the left side. And I had to knock all that stuff off to see what was going on. And ultimately, you could see what was going on here. That flange, when they installed it, they just didn't position it correctly to where the bolts would slide into the slots. And, you know, uh, the only alternative here was to, was to reposition the flange. But I quoted her numbers, and she didn't want to do that because uh, I was probably going to get involved with chipping out some tile and making a, a larger deal out of it. I told her, let me clean this up and see if I can possibly uh, get a bolt in here and, and possibly, you know, bolt it onto the flange. And after I cleaned everything up here, you can see what the position is. And on the left side there, I, the flange bolt was able to go in fully just in the beginning of the slot. And on the other side, I was going to have to put a bolt and some washers, as you can see here, what I did was, is the one on the left looks good over here. I kind of got it half in the slot and half out of the slot. And I decided to build up some washers and I whacked that thing down really, really hard. And uh, this flange is on an eighth bend actually. It doesn't go onto a pipe that goes straight down. I ultimately ended up using a deep, an extra thick uh, wax gasket, you know, with a horn. And ultimately, after I set my bowl, flushed it and tested it and was satisfied, I ultimately used caulking around the edges of my bowls. Now, I know a lot of guys don't go for that. They say, you know, if there's a leak, you won't see it. I don't know. I, I think it leaves a nice clean look. If the bowl is properly set, you shouldn't have a leak under there. Uh, you know, if a leak develops over the years, maybe, you know, there's some validity to that. But I caulk everything. And I usually use white or clear I do a nice, neat little bead, nothing crazy. Uh, and it usually works out nice and the people are happy. But she was happy with the way it turned out. I was happy, actually. It was very, very steady. Didn't use no toilet wedges. It was a nice, nice job. I just think uh, the original guy who put this in a couple of years ago screwed up. And uh, I guess he was going to plaster his way out of it. So what'd you think guys? This was a fast one. I did give her the option of actually replacing the cast iron flange. That flange really needed to be rotated to the left. You know, when they set this flange in there, I don't know what they were thinking, but uh, they just didn't get it right. So 
that right side bolt actually wasn't sitting in a place, the slot where it would stabilize and be able to hold the bowl on. So they, I guess the solution was to throw all that plaster on there. Uh, I gave her some numbers to actually pull the flange and uh, she really didn't want to go that route. These are two senior citizens and you know, it's, it's, they have another bathroom in the house, gets very light usage. So I assured her that I was pretty confident that I can uh, get this thing stabilized and it worked out fine. After I got that bolt in there, I actually dry fitted everything to make sure it would sit stably. Then I put an extra thick wax gasket on there with a horn. And I know a lot of guys out there, they don't like the horns. You know, some are for them, some are against them. But hey, you know what? It worked out in this case. I set the bolt, I flushed everything, no leaks. At that point, I used my Fino Seal silicone caulk. And I know a lot of you guys are going to comment down below, you should never caulk a bowl, et cetera, et cetera. But my feeling is if it's set correctly and that wax gasket is not compromised, uh, there's no reason why you shouldn't do it. It leaves a nice clean look in my opinion. A lot of guys use the tile grout around the edge, but uh, that's just my opinion. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not already subscribed, you might want to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. The most important thing you can do is like these videos because if you don't like them, YouTube is just not going to show them to anybody. They don't distribute them. I don't know why. I can't explain it. Uh, if you look through my videos, you'll see I don't get a tremendous amount of views. And I'm still trying to figure out why. But uh, that's for the next video. Anyway, take care. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. And as always, happy plumbing, guys.